a bit about it while you're opening up. So, on, what is this? This is Friday, Friday on Still Talk. When did it go live? Saturday? Last Saturday. A week ago, yeah. It was exciting at 10 o'clock on Saturday. Harris okay. Distillery went live. Oh. Live on the website. The first ever whiskey to be sold on Bar on Harris. <laughs> that was you. On Harris. <laughs> on where? On what? Where? On Harris. The Isle of Harris. The Isle of, the Harris. Isle of Harris. So this is Harris's mm. first legal, legal whiskey. Whiskey. Now obviously Harris, I'm going to do a little stretch over here. So you're on the close up. Oh. Harris are obviously quite famous. I was seeing oh, them actually. Yeah. I think that's bad. I think it's fair to say actually that Harris is well known for their gin now. Anybody who drinks gin at all, they always say a fan of the Lovely. of the Harris gin. <clears throat> so the box, so there's what? batch one is made up of eight batches from batch one. Hmm. And each box is different and each box has a different picture. So when you pile them all up together, it makes a picture. Oh, well, there's so much thought. Right? Yeah, there's well, so much Unfortunately thought. we've only got number one and number eight. Oh. So in theory there's there's another six in between. <laughs> There's a bit missing. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we've got number one. I knew that. So that's different from that one. Yes. Well, there you go. All different. So, all the, different. so he, once again, they, they've trumped everybody with their collectibles. So everybody who wants is going to have to get eight. Yeah. All eight. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I never knew that. I might have purchased actually eight. We, we still can't sold. But then we went and built a drink oh. number eight, I and that was the can't, point. We can't hold it. Right. No, if we've got seven, then you've got number eight Use missing it. because we've drunk it. We can sort that. <laughs> so, eight batches from batch one. They are sold out. They sold out so quickly. It was the most exciting experience I've ever had buying whiskey. <laughs> but from the kitchen. On and from the kitchen. On the second of October, you will still be able to buy these in whiskey shops all around. You can also still buy them in the shop in the distillery shop in Harris. So, which is quite nice because they only gave so many to go out online. Whereas the rest of them, they don't want to sell it all because they would have sold it all online that day. But you need to go to Harris and visit Harris, see the distillery, see the staff, everyone involved. Mm. It's called the Hirach. Now, if you go online as well, they ask people from all over the world to do a wee video and see the Hirach and different, you know. Ways that people say and it. Is, is that yeah. how you pronounce it? Before we all have a bash at the hira. Everyone's different in how they, they say it. But so the hira means a person from Harris, a, a an local, islander, a local, an islander. which is so nice. All the way through Harris's story, they've really personalised it to Harris. And I'm assuming so these local. fellas on here go and lie it down flat. Are the obviously table. locals. Oh, well, that's better. So They're that actually very hard to see the pictures. They don't really. Oh cool. So I wonder if these are actually people from the distillery or whether they're just people with stories, locals with a bit of history. So you heard the story of the 1916 bottle from Paris. The 1916 is there's 1916 members, members, Islanders. Islanders on Harris and they were all given the chance to buy that bottle they also got the name on the distillery wall and some other bits and pieces. It was like a wee package they got, so they, they were offered it first. We actually have a member um, from our island trips who is part of that 1960. Mm. And I'm going to double check it that I got that one right. Um, so oh, they I filmed they, it now, so it better be right. They were all. As we say, it's still talk. <laughs> slightly factual. They were, they were all invited <coughs> on the Saturday to collect their bottle of their collection mm. and then go into the distillery shop and buy whatever else they wanted. So it's the same bottle but with a different label. It's kind of a goldy label on it. Um, so do you want me to open this up? Go right, on. Well, we'll put this one aside. Is that the right one? You want them the right way around. So this is bottle 723 of batch 8. And see as you open it the up. The thought of it, everything is just oh. so special. Oh. And then another wee surprise underneath it, you get a little coaster. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. And then the book clip. Oh, it's got a book. So does this mean that there's just, just, just the one dram then? Just For the me. one glass? Just the so one glass. This 
gives you the story. Which possibly we should have read before we started. But then, do you know something? I think you have to go and buy the whiskey to know the story. To... Yeah. It's just so nice. Again, everything oh is just, for me, so personal to the island. Excellent. Yep, so it's very exciting. Lovely bit, lovely bit of market in there, isn't it? And something really special. It is. A lot of effort and time, time and effort and skills going into putting that together. Whiskey now, as we all know, you walk into a whiskey shop, you walk into hotels, bars, there is now just hundreds. Mm. And a lot of, there's a lot of bars out there and they have literally hundreds of bottles of whiskey on the shelf. So whether you're buying a present, if you're going out to buy a present for someone, obviously the, the packaging is, in, is everything, isn't it? <clears throat> or even if you just see this bottle sitting on the bar, it's just intriguing, isn't it? And if it, if it is, if it does become one of our favourite whiskies, it's not particularly hard to spot on the bar, is it? You know, that and beside the rest of the whiskies, and you're going to sort stand of, out. Yeah. you're going to catch that sort of, I mean, to me that sort of 1940s, it's that classic. It's, to me, it just has that late Art Deco, 1940s look to it, and I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. And that, to me, well, we all say never judge a book by its cover, but it certainly isn't dull, drab, and boring. No. It's exciting. It's, it's, to me, it looks like it came from the time when style was at its absolute top. Top of the game, sort of 1930s, 1940s, and it kind of ticks the boxes for me on that one. So if you go and put that there back on the tripod, Super. we shall crack her open. So I did ask, because oh. every time I buy a bottle of whiskey, I oh. quite like, well from the islands, I mm. have to say, I quite like buying a glass to go with it. We don't actually have glasses as yet, but you have to watch out for next year, and I think the word was we won't be disappointed. Ah, so the glass, glasses so are doing the, the gin glasses at the moment. Right. You can get the Harris, yeah. yeah. I think actually there was a set they do have here just recently. <laughs> Yeah. There is Jasmine has a set of Harris gin glasses. Yeah. But right, right, it's your bottle of whiskey. Well, no, my bottle's. Oh, all right. <laughs> so, so this is my bottle of whiskey. Yeah. So we're drinking my bottle of whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then I'll 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 go with that. Ooh. It's a little privilege to open up a new bottle of whiskey, isn't it? Especially well, this one's so exciting. Is. I've absolutely no idea how you actually open up this bottle of whiskey. Do you want your big knife? I'm pretty sure that there is a way that we actually open up this bottle of whiskey without getting the knife out of the pocket, but. So again, this is a distillery we've been speaking to mm. from the day the spirit went into the cask, do, which is do, so exciting. Do, we have been waiting do, so many do, years do, for this. See this beautiful classic design I was talking about? Yeah, but you do have your... Being spoiled your... by plastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, no, well, that could be it. So who holds this? I don't want you to ask me that question. We think... I think it's seven years. We contacted Harris Distillery distillery very own in our island hopping uh -huh. sort yeah. of Land Rover club trips and they weren't it was it was, it was already in the almost cask. in the casks but they weren't they didn't know if they were going to do it at three years old and three year olds came and went that would be pre-covid mm -hmm. so yeah. it must be a years. five six year old well, this is one of these things that we'll probably actually read the book and I'll tell you. <laughs> probably. But you like the book? Well, just go with five or seven <clears> at the moment. It, it can't be... It's not a three-year-old, and I don't think it'll be... It's not a five-year-old, it's more than that. It, oh, no. Stop. Uh, is it? This has just went up a whole oh, no, new no, no, level. Last night I said that. So, right, the so, wait, so it's a single malt. Uh -huh. so it has but it's not a single cask. So it could be a mixture of years. It could be a mixture of years. Mm -hmm. Right, you're, we're too short, we're too quick with I this. So grab, this grab the bottle. No, grab no, the no, bottle properly. Like you're going to, so grab, grab it oh. like you're going to pour it. Oh, am I going to pour it? Oh, I. Yeah. What yes. do you uh -huh. feel? Yes. Ah, you've got your. Grab it like you're going to pour it. <laughs> when am I getting it? Not the same. <laughs> oh man. Oh, aye, there we go. I want to know whose handprints no, were on that bottle when it was. What did they do? It's that one. It's there. It's that one. Yeah. It's just genius. That's quite clever, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That instantly just That's spelled. a big handle. Oh no, it's not there, is it? See, I think you've got to go for the go for the pour because as soon as I went yeah. to go for the pour, yeah. it just ah, slotted there's two, in. There's two fingers there. Mm -hmm. There's also, how big your hand is. But there's also 
has gone for optional Indeed. size. And there's one. Oh, yeah, I tell you, bye, Jesus. Been a, we've never had a bottle of whiskey this long. We've never actually opened up. Mm, but yes. Close yeah, that's, that's certainly that's the thumbprint. That's the thumbprint in in the bottle. Yeah. I don't think we're actually in yet. You still not in? Oh. Right, we'll just turn it. That's okay. Right, here we go. Ooh, very delicate. <laughs> For a delicate bottle. It actually, maybe just the shape of the bottle, but it oh, almost came out with a sort of a viscosity. It almost mm. came out with an oiliness to it. So there we go. That's just quite nice to be back in here. It's quite delicate <laughs> colour. It's a good noise. Right, here we are. Yes. Cheers. 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 It's a brand new whiskey for us. Well, brand new whiskey, I think. Oh, well, that's For the day. most. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, getting nice fruits. Mm -hmm. Sort of a well, mixture that's a, between. That's a lovely wee... But again, it's quite a delicate. I'm getting a mixture between fresh fruits and dried fruits. Which is quite unusual because usually you get some nice green apples or pears <laughs> or you get dates and raisins, but this one's actually kind of... Well, a wee bit of roses. Fresh flowers. Mm. Sort of expecting a delicate taste or a spicy taste. It doesn't smell spicy, it almost smells creamy. I'd be surprised if it's spicy. So what's you? What are you smelling? Um, um, I'm not sure there's a lot of, mm, of smells in there. The fresh fruit seems to have you need like sniffed Dave, off. You need to let Dave taste it first. Since this is a little bit of It's always exciting, isn't it? So before we go on then, <laughs> we have tried, <laughs> this year, we have tried the Arm new release whiskey, the Lag. Yes. Um, that was a, and that was yes. not a disappointment, that was a gorgeous yes, bottle of whiskey. That's lovely bottle. Is there any other island, new island whiskies we've tried this year? Something that rings a bell someplace. I know we've had the Dracis well, and the Torre Vague. This year. Maybe not new ones. Not really, because you can't count them Torre Vague. Yeah, they're a little bit further back. And. Something else is just in there that there's another bottle of whiskey that we'll do. Come on, let's go. It's down, it doesn't taste A new, a new news, a new. A new news, a new whiskey as opposed to. A new, obviously. Yeah, a new, uh, this, this is a brand new whiskey to the world. Yeah. Just like the, the lag was a brand yeah. new. Yes. Go on, go for it. I think we need to Right, don't say it. Keep your thoughts. We've had your shot, we don't want to get our thoughts tainted until we've had it. Hmm. It has that. <coughs> Eyes. It has a lovely clean mm. introduction. There is a spice build. Mm. I don't think it's a pepperiness, it's more of a chilli because I'm still got a... I have still got it. I'm still got a bit of warmth. It's tingly on the tongue. It is. But it's a clean, it's not an overpowering, I am spices, I am going to go through your tongue. It's, it's fresh, it's nice and clean, it's, nice and fresh. It's really fresh. It's really warm. Mmm. Mmm. Well, that's... So I'm about to say that Harris has this next to the sea. Are you going to go with the saltiness? Oh, that's why I tasted straight away. Yeah. I'm getting that <clears throat> savouriness. It's got a... Right, it's got a, it's got a clean, clean mm -hmm. taste and then it's got a sort of a savoury... So you do Did you say it was Harris next to the sea? No, I don't know. Well, I don't put the Why distillery you can. That? No one else is going to know that. <coughs> How wide? I knew what I meant. The casks are kept next to the sea right. to get the salty sea air. So, how far from the sea do you think you can be on Harris? Oh. It's bound to be over a mile, isn't it? It's bound to be it over a mile. It's wide, bound to be sort of. Will it be five miles wide on Harris? No, it must be. Looking at that little, that little, it's a bigger island than we sort of think it is. Think it is. Big island, I don't know. <clears throat> so I you don't could be two miles. miles from the sea, three miles from the sea, but I don't think you could be much more than that. 
at any point. What could be two last No, seed? the distillery. Or no, any, no, no, any, no. no. It's all, all distilleries are on the sea. Yeah, ah. but I'm just asking how far could you be from the sea in Harrison? It can't be far at yeah, any point. Awesome. There. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no one else is going to know. The question that you're going to, the question that Neil is going I'm to put back in, are the barrels left by the sea? That's the question I asked. <laughs> That's yeah. a question you asked. Yeah. Are they aged by the sea? Again, I'm getting that. See, when I just breathed out mm. there rapidly, I'm getting that sort of chilli chocolate. Mm. Do you know how you Definitely. get the, yes. the chilies? If you hide chilies in chocolate, you, you get yeah. that. Well, they do, because everybody gives you a bit of chocolate and you eat the bit of chocolate and eventually and you think, chili, you know? something's going on here. You never had chili chocolate? I don't think so. Well, you need to buy chili chocolate. No. We'll, we'll get some chili chocolate. And when if you don't know it's chili chocolate, you're kind of eating away. Yeah. And then you get this, well, that, uh, where am I getting this warmth mm. from? And that's what that reminded me of. It's so warm when it goes down. Yes, it is. So really warm. this is going to sound silly, so okay. For the second time? What's my third time? <laughs> no, surely not. Surely not. Yeah. Do you ever feel that you get a sweet whiskey and a savoury whiskey? Mm. Mm. Yeah. That's okay yes. to say that. Yeah. Because that's a yeah. savoury one. Mm -hmm. mm. It's not a sweet one. I don't taste the dates or... I don't get that from it. I was definitely, as Neil pointed out, as soon as it was in the glass, there was definite sweet fruits. But now that I'm drinking the whiskey, I can still get the sweetness. I'm still getting a sweet... And again, I'm still getting that mixture of sort of, it's just fresh and dried fruits. Oh, that was a bit, a bit of, it was almost like lemon, lemony. It was just a tiny wee bit. I'm going to show the, mm. I think that's back to that sort of lemon on your fish supper type thing. I think that's that salty, vinegary mm. bit of lemon. I got a little bit of lemon there as well. That's actually really nice. That's nice. I think it's, very it's quite gentle. complex. What I like about it is it's a really complex mixture of flavours and smells. Because some some of the whiskies we've had can be quite linear, I suppose. Whereas that's and it's changing. Even just you can feel the flavours changing as you as time passes. I think I could. I'd like to think on a blind taste. I think I could tell you that it was. You could tell that that was a habit. by the sea, salty, mm. savoury. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I think so. And I think Definitely. anywhere from, recently we've been on the, the old Pulteney's, anything from sort of up mm. down, up top, and then we went all the way right down to Campbelltown. Remember, we tried a Campbelltown whiskey on a blind mm -hmm. tasting, right. and they had that savoury. So I think yeah. I'd like to be able to tell you in a blind taste that this is sort of typically a, coast. a coastal, coastal savoury yeah. whiskey. Mm. Yeah, she's no she's no cherry, raisiny, space side. She's a coastal. Yeah. You're going to have to... And very, very impressive. Sir. Very tasty. It's actually very, very easy to drink. It's actually very easy to drink. Oh, no, we're right. going to do it backwards right. as usual. Right, so, no, that's batch what we're seven. Do. I know mm. what batch seven is. It's a vanilla taste in looks. More sweet. Oh, the batch is different in flavour. Yes. Uh, well, mm. <laughs> ah, that's... Now he's answering my questions. <laughs> Neil is now thinking I need to get anything between batch two that and batch make, six. So that's why I can make for... sense because, yeah, why would you do eight batches as yeah. a... Yeah. So I went for batch eight, one because I wanted one, mm -hmm. and batch eight because it was at the other end of the scale, hoping that Dave went by me a batch three <laughs> in the middle. So one little... <laughs> I just <coughs> ignore that. On sort of second, well, top up, mm. I'm definitely getting those vanilla toffee influences. But it's amazing if someone says something. Oh, definitely. That's just what I'm saying. Yeah. You've just mentioned that, and, I'm, and all of a sudden I am getting this sweet toffee. Good, good, good. Things at the very back. It's batch one. And it's oh, batch, it's batch seven, 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 Oh, maybe that's why I'm getting toffee notes. So you're seven. So I think what's happened there? I'm on task. So we've got batch seven and not batch eight. And we just opened it. And we're enjoying it. So back in, after that's... a little break back and I, I went straight in with the, that vanilla toffee. And that's what I'm now picking up. Quite strongly. So I'm thinking that we have been given batch seven instead of batch eight. It certainly would look like we have batch 7 mm -hmm. and 23 is the year, so batch uh -huh. 7, 23. Yes. 
I would say so. But the box said batch eight. We're sticking on the outside. Because as, yeah. as the obviously the batches go along, you won't be long before you're into batch 20s, then batch 99, mm -hmm. then batch 100. Mm -hmm. And then... I'm going to inquire about that one. I think it's... Well, maybe you should tell them and they'll maybe sign your batch eight. <laughs> I think the biggest one is just in case something's happened then Well, I'm too late now You're welcome That was the quickest delivery oh. ever from Harris to receive they probably Well, oh. it's the old story If there has to be a return no We should certainly have another couple of drums <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, do that thing where it's like mm, I've got, got to I've got to an eighth of the way to the bottom <laughs> decided to sort of win. So when we're talking about there, you know, a trip to Harris to pick up a bottle of this, we've sat here, we've enjoyed it. But it's this crazy thing that we live in a country where there are literally thousands of different bottles of whiskey from a couple of hundred mm. distilleries. Some of them very close. But you get something in your head that this is the bottle for me. Mm. And is it the bottle? Is it the packaging? Is it the island? Is it the story? Was it the trip there? Was it the taste? Is it the glass? Is it the company? And that's what I find quite fascinating on this game. Why that could become, you know, the bottle for you. And it's a very nice whiskey. Yeah, again, like the story for Rassi, the, the, the one for Harris is, it kind of encourages you to actually go there and go to the mm. distillery and just see exactly what's... Which can only be a good thing for, the, yeah. for all the local businesses, for all the... everything, isn't it? Yeah. Everybody piling onto Harris, because I mean... Harris Gin has already got a huge name for itself. We'll just put it on the table together there. I mean, and a lot of distilleries don't really want to go down the gin road before the whiskey. Mm. Because if you mention Harris just now, especially Harris Distillery just now, everybody talks about Harris Gin. So for you to compete in the world, if you want to compete in the world of whiskey mm -hmm. and really, really be a heavy hitter, you want to be known as a whiskey distillery and not a gin distillery. But the fashion sort of changed, isn't it? So all of a sudden, everybody wants to be known as a gin distillery because the world, I mean, I believe just now the world's selling a huge amount or buying a huge amount of gin. And I think that Harris does both exceptionally well. Well, the two of them sitting beside each other look beautiful. They it's do. a great wee, yeah. great wee couple there on the table. And although they actually don't have anything in common, really, it's not. So the one thing they have in common is that thumbprint, because that thumbprint is nice and smooth, and that thumbprint is nice and smooth. So that that's the sort of the link. There are similarities, obviously, the glass, the ribs, the. This is more sort of the seaside. This is more of a sort of a. I don't know, so more kind of structural. Well, it's, a, it's like a stratified cliff. Yeah, it's like I sandstone. suppose it is. It's almost yeah. like sandstone. Yeah, yeah. layered. But yeah, but it's, that's that little dimple, that little dimple. As you can tell, I'm very impressed with that little <laughs> dimple. That really is. It's almost like you've had this decanter passed down for generations, and that's your family thumbprint on the side of the decanter. Yeah. Go there, Neil. Go there. It's definitely got that family. Unless you're obviously left-handed, then it's just going to go... Well, I think it's actually done oh, left-handed as well. I think, I think it is I actually for left That is what was, was key infusing me earlier. Yes. That is what it's, was getting me earlier. It's designed... It's, it's designed for... It, it does. It's ambidextrous bottle. You hold it at a different height, though. <laughs> but very good. Cool. Yeah, excellent. Excellent. Mark. Well done. So I think a little... And we look forward to trying out the other six bottles. Or seven. If we can get a batch one. <laughs> it's not locked away in the cupboard. We're definitely going to lock that one away. We like that one. Yeah, I think you should. What we think of batch three? So I'd say a big well done to the yeah. to the, the distillery, to the marketing team. The whole Absolutely tech, whole spot. Tech well worth the wait. To actually release. Well mm -hmm. It's that. It's the gamble, isn't it? It's the the yeah. knowledge. I suppose that if the knowledge is there, but waiting that length of time to actually then put it with spirit and then wait to see what people actually think about it. And in this modern world of communication, nobody answers you. <laughs> but we're answering, and I'm getting, I'm now getting a lot more toffee vanilla notes than I was to begin with. The chilliness and the spiciness seems like to have seven. left me. <laughs> oh, it's a spicy one. But it's clean, isn't it? It's a lovely clean drum. It is, it is. And it's one that, 
It is one you would savour. It's not one you'd be necking down. I think the first one went down That's incredibly lovely. quickly. I think the second one I'm getting, well, that chilli, that sort of chilli mm. is returning. I like it stays with you, that chilli. That's just what I was going to say. It's got, a light, it's, got a the, it's got a long flavour, I suppose you'd call it. Is it you like your nose. Once you've had it, mm. you know, after you've had it, yeah. Is there a little touchy aniseed just on the sort of the, mm. if you leave it a bit? Is that a little aniseed or is it just a salty okay. chili? Yeah. A I saltiness, a just salty saltiness. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. Certainly not a disappointment. No. And I think loved by many in the years to come. So, so. Well done. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.